we weren't always around. No, let me tell you this. We exist because it is a necessity. Because as human beings, we are susceptible to fallacy. It didn't matter back then how much evidence there was that in the eyes of some, global warming wasn't an issue. No, you see? All you need is a hint of doubt, a label that skeptics call theory that casts enough knowledge of a lack of confidence that the people start to question whether this problem exists or not. Was the earth round or flat? You see, sir, I have seen our history and, you know, <laughs> we are really stupid people. Even in the face of huge changes, we refuse to acknowledge the presence of such a possibility, that our presence is able to bring such transformations to the world. We now live in a world of consequences, and it is our responsibility to see to it others will follow through to bring us back. So, is that all you got to say? Yes, sir. I want this to be made perfectly clear. Our job is not to raise awareness. People need to only look around and see where the mess has been caused. I understand completely. The problem is, after all this time with the problems that we have, floods, famines, bad temperatures, we still haven't changed. Believe me, you'd rather start worrying about your own business than what others are doing. We need to set an example that we are capable of doing better. Despite how badly we screwed up in the past, we should be able to try again. Well, like you said, people are stupid. What makes you think what you do will have others open their ears? Our job is to make sure things don't get out of hand. Not to argue and be persuasive with our views. Ask yourself, are you what we need? Yes, sir. I can honestly say that I am. I hope so. We certainly need the help these days. Congratulations, you're a full-fledged agent now. Let's go. Where to? You need your first-hand experience. Time to see what we do. Hello? Yeah? All right. Fine, we'll get there. What is it? Well, it looks like we're going to have to postpone your training for the day. We gotta go. So, what have you got for me today, boss? Who's this guy? Oh, this is a new guy. New guy, this is your boss. Hey, I'm Nathan. There's more pressing matters right now. Yesterday there was a protest concerning some information of yours. What kind? The secret kind. Brian, I know you're associated with this project. So? What project? It's none of your business, and quite frankly, not anyone's business. My job is to... Look after the welfare of our people. I need to know what you guys are up to. Our project was designed specifically so that we have the fewest number of people working on it as possible. I'll take care of this thing myself. This won't be the last time that this happened. I need to know so that I can help you guys. With all due respect, sir, we can handle things on our own. You know as well as I that this project doesn't see rank. So what was that all about? Nothing for you to worry about. A secret project, huh? Leave it alone. Look, just tell me something about it. If I had to tell you, I'm gonna have to kill you. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Look, I know I'm new and everything, but how can you expect us to be partners if you can't even trust me? Come on, let me in on it. Fine, here's what I'll tell you. This project is set to fix some of the problems we're now facing. Like famines, droughts, etc. Sounds more like a conservation project to me. Hmm. Well, looks like we got a lead on the leaked info. Who are we looking at here? Walter Vandis. Arrested yesterday in the protest. Conspiracy. So, shall we go down to the police station and question him? No, he's with us. Remember how I told you we do what the agency tells us? I never thought it would come to this. Wouldn't it be easier to just question the guy? What, you think he'll talk? Eventually. No, I don't think he would. I mean, if he had any information, he would have squealed by now.
Still turned on, huh? You going to write a citation or should I? Who the hell's John Greer? Why are you asking me? Scrub out a calendar about two days ago. Well, the only way to track down people. Come on, let's go. How are you going to find the guy? I know people. Look, I don't even know why I'm here anymore. We broke into some guy's house, and we got a name that doesn't even mean anything. Who the hell is John Greer? Listen, rookie. Nathan! Our organization was started by people all over the world who thought there needed to be some environmental watchdog. Not enough was being done then, certainly not now. Okay, we're janitors. They make the mess, we clean it up. That's our job. Can anyone even trust the agency anymore with that project of yours? Look, it saves a lot of red tape. We know it's controversial, but it has to be done. Well, if it's so big, then why don't you let the world in on it? It really looks suspicious on our part that we kept it hidden for so long. It's better we just keep it that way. Hello? Yeah, what? How the hell did this happen? We gotta go? Yeah, uh, listen. Um, I want you to go look up the na th this guy's address and... Well, I gotta go speak with the chief. I'll call in for the name John Greer. Oh, crap. It's, mine's out of batteries. Uh, here, take mine. Uh, listen. If anything should happen to me, um... I want you to call this number. I need someone to go by my house, pick up some stuff. Um, and if they ask, which they probably shouldn't, my address is my cell phone. 